Hey there guys, today I want to talk to you about tyres, specifically the Shinko E700s I've been running. Now I've been running these tyres for about 13,000 kilometres now. This is still the original front and I've gone through almost two rears. You can see the front there, still got, I'd say that's probably only about half worn to be honest. That front is wearing really well about 13,000 k's on it. This rear currently has about 6,000 k's on it. It's starting to get down a bit. Uh, you can see there in the middle, it is, there's only a few, two, three mil left on there. That's because I live in mid Canterbury, where all the roads are straight as an arrow. I should get about another 1,000 k's out of that rear. The last rear I did only manage to get 6,000 k's out, so this one is lasting a bit longer. Should get about seven, seven and a half out of this one without too much issues. One of the main reasons I got these tires was because they were cheap. Front tire cost me $101 and the rear tire cost me $115. Picked these up from Motozone. These are the Shinko E700. The size in the front is 300 by 21 and in the rear I'm running, running 460 by 17s. Now the rear you can also run a 530 by 17. They both fit on the DR rims. Um, I think the 460 is slightly narrower than the standard 120 and the 530 is slightly wider. I may run the 530 next time, but it is about $20 dearer per tire. These tires are classed as a 70-30 tire by Shinko. I'd probably put them at a 50-50 tire, to be honest. They're very good on road. I've got no qualms on the road. And they're very good on sort of dirt roads, shingle, as long as it's not wet. If it's wet on the gravel or the dirt or the mud, you just fall off. I fell off recently. I came off the, a shingle road onto a wee dirt road and it was just soaking wet and the bike just slid out. The tires were just kicked solid. They were like slicks. I've been all over the North Island in the TT2000. I have been all around the South Island in our tour last year with these tires on. They really are a great tire for the money. On road in twisties, they handle great. In the rain and piss and rain, they handle great. And like I said, shingle roads, they are good. They're pretty much a good all round tire to be honest. Easy enough to spoon on and off. I spoon these on now twice. I did run a knobbly tire for the dusty butt last year, so I have taken these tires on and off a couple of times now. And I do that myself with a couple of tire spoons without any issues. They are quite a soft, soft wall tire. I run 22 front and 24 rear normally. Sometimes, well, generally around about those pressures is what I run them. And I've had no issues. This is the kind of stuff I ride. Well, this is just a riverbed, but, um, this sort of stuff, shingle roads. I generally don't get into anything much sort of looser than this, if I can help it. But for this sort of riding, these tyres are pretty decent. For the money anyway, you cannot... You cannot really go wrong. She's a wee bit squirrely there, but um, she pulls through. And then you've just got your normal shingle roads like this, which are no problem for this tire. You know, this is kind of what the tire's made for, in my opinion. Just roads like this, just gravel roads, really. I've only fell off a few times on these tires. And it was because I was somewhere that I probably didn't belong with this bike, never mind these tyres, and I was also going too slow as well. If you keep the speeds up and uh, just power on through, the tyres are good. I really can't follow these tyres unless you're in wet mud, but you shouldn't really be in wet mud with these tyres, they're not designed for it. Um, I would definitely recommend these tyres. For the money, in my opinion, they can't be beaten. Uh, would I buy these again? For sure. Um, I would like to try something else, but to compare them against, I don't really have any other comparisons on the DR650. Um, I did ride a few Ks on Danny's bike with the standard tyres on it, and I did maybe 200 Ks on my bike with the standard tyres on it, the Bridgestone, is it the Battle Wings? And I mean, they were okay. This tyre's a lot better off-road than that tyre. Um, but on-road, I'd say they were very comparable. 
I was going to try a different tyre next, but the fact I'm probably going to get another one tyre, one front tyre out of the rear, I'm just going to get grab another rear tyre and uh, wait till the front gets down a bit. It's going to be the cheapest option. Um, I may, I may switch up to the, the bigger one. I think it's 5.30, I could have got that wrong. I may switch up to that and try that out and see if that, how that compares. Um, longevity wise. I think the 530 is meant to last a wee bit longer so I may give that a shot and just see how we go. But overall big thumbs up for these tyres. So anyway guys thanks for watching and um, let me know what you think of these tyres if you've tried them or if you're thinking about getting them. I hope this helped you. If you've had these tyres on before let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya!